Okay, so today what we're going to do is look at how to use uh, in the HTML kiosk of the Springmatic platform to very easily and quickly build your own custom slideshow. So this could be used if you're doing, uh, looking for things like uh, taking off-the-shelf uh, components, making them into sort of a very quick kind of digital display. But we can actually leverage the kiosk to lock down the device uh, and then upload uh, a fully baked uh, on-device uh, embedded HTML file which has uh, images basically embedded into the kiosk file. So what I'm going to show is uh, a little script which um, is sort of hacked together but uh, with a very uh, simple amount of very basic programming you can you develop a very easy to use uh, a very quick and easy uh, slideshow that you want to develop. So what we're going to do is go over to our files. We're going to look at this. So essentially what this is, is you can take uh, this script, uh, which is this slideshow builder 01.py. It's just a, a Python wrap, which basically just embeds some HTML. And what it does is you feed it um, like the the time delay that you want for the slideshow to uh, run. You just enter how many seconds you want in between each frame, and then you can build in the frames. So we just have some very quickly uh, drawn up uh, JPEG images. You could have uh, PNG as well, and you can take uh, any images that you want to display, you know, edit them in Photoshop, uh, put whatever wording and stuff that you want on them, and we just do option one, two, three, and then it'll spit out uh, the HTML output. Once we have the HTML output, and I'll actually I'll just show it uh, real quick of what this script does. So you just run it's a Python three script, this slide show builder. So it asks, you know, how much time delay do you want between the slides? Uh, what's currently on the display, which we're seeing from uh, the Springmatic Remote Control app, is uh, five seconds. We can maybe adjust to six seconds, and then um, we're just going to enter in the same images: option zero one, option zero two, option. 03. You can have as many options as you want, although it will affect the size of the uh, overall HTML output. And then, like as per the prompt, once uh, you're done, you've added all the options that you want for your current slideshow. Uh, you just hit quit, just uh, capital Q. It's just in the in the code. It's listens for this. Then that completes it. And then if we show the directory, uh, I'm using Linux. You don't have to. Um, you see this uh, output HTML, so we'll just rename that uh, to just um, quick test .html. Okay, so we have this quick test .html. So how do we actually build all of this? Well, in the Springmatic platform, what we can do uh, is we can create, like if we're doing this fully from scratch, we create a new fleet, which is our device group. So we're just going to call this uh, slideshow. Okay. Um, now, once we have the slideshow, what we can do is we can build our profile. Or actually, before we do the profile, let's go and we'll add the updated uh, output that we have. So we can just take the quick test that we added, drag it. So it's uploading to the platform. Uh, alternatively, you can also self-host. Um, that's part of our, our hybrid cloud offering. So if you have your own sort of uh, HTTP uh, file share or HTTPS file share, you can uh, just add the link in here, click the LAN only, and it'll also show. So, um, and that's actually uh, what we've done here. So this uh, initial test, which is what we just saw, this uh, we show the link you can see is actually a local IP address. Okay, So you can self-host or you can leverage um, RS3 uh, object storage in the cloud. Um, now we're going to go over to create a brand new profile. 
we're just going to call this slide show test. Okay. Now you can do the feature control that you can do with all of our other uh, profiles. Um, to be quick, we're just going to skip straight down to the kiosk. We're going to use the HTML kiosk. We're going to enter the builder. We're going to give it a quick password. So this is uh, for uh, local admins if they need to escape the kiosk on the device locally. We do have a way for um, the kiosk to be exited, uh, but it prompts for the admin password. So only admins would know the admin password. Um, and then we're going to look for our uh, quick test 02. It's right here. We're just going to drag this into the HTML kiosk. We're going to associate the fleet which is our slideshow fleet. I'm just going to save and publish. Okay. At this point, we're essentially done. Um, the fleet was created. The profile has been created. We created the uh, slideshow that we want to see. And now all we need to do is uh, populate. So we're going to go over to the fleets tab. We're going to select the device we want. We're going to move it over to the new fleet. And there's slideshow successful. Okay. So now we're going to go to slideshow. Just for safe measures, although this usually takes place pretty quick, we're going to do a force check-in. So this means the device is going to sync. It should get the, the new kiosk. And then we're going to go in and we're going to view the update. So here we are. We have our latest update. That little refresh right there was the update. So now we have a six second delay. So all of the images are being displayed um, securely on the device. And then you can see uh, the device essentially is now operating um, as a digital display. So uh, very quick and easy, um, a pretty powerful tool. Like if you just need to take some off the shelf or even older devices and just lock them down securely and have a, a great sort of digital display platform to like maybe show up for just some advertisements or something that you have sort of sitting on the shelf of maybe a shop or something. Um, or even if you wanted to have just like a picture frame, um, e even potentially for home use. Um, you know, it's uh, very easy for, for us to sort of build, uh, build it out. So I hope uh, that's helpful. Um, I will, uh, in the post, I'll include the uh, source code for that uh, Python script to, to build the, the HTML template. Um, but uh, that's just sort of um, some, some way to uh, leverage uh, the kiosk mode in, in new ways. So I wanted to share, and thank you very much.